to MC the movie critic. I know it, and you know it. Well, kids, it's that time of the year again. Did you get our baby shot? To make bubbles with our spit? No, no, it's the Halloween season! God damn, I fucking love Halloween. It's scary, fun, exciting, kid-friendly. It's Halloween! What more can you ask? And to celebrate this awesomeness, we're gonna take a look at another Ed Wood film. And the movie's called Bride of the Monster. Who is it Bride of the Adam? I don't know, who gives a shit? Roll it. Much Like Plan 9 is one of those movies that are so bad it's good. It's very cliche, it's very stupid, it's an Ed Wood movie, so I guess anything goes. So for this Halloween, we're gonna take a look at Bride of the Monster. The film begins with two guys who are looking for a place to stay for the store where they come across an old house. There, we are introduced to Dr. Aaron Vorna, played by Bela Lugosi, and Lobo, played by Tor Johnson. We see Dr. Vorna went to his secret laboratory to summon an octopus to kill the two guys. You just let him go? What kind of asshole guy is this? Hell, even the octopus is not moving. That has to be the worst octopus ever. Oh, say it a little louder. I don't think Bella heard you. Come back to the lab. We see Dr. Borna is going to use him as an experiment. Already he tires of our humble hospitality. I said, let me out of here. At the moment, I'm afraid it is impossible. <laughs> Who are you? I am Dracula. Okay, okay, you can tell that joke was obvious. So Dr. Borna kills him, we come to a police station where a guy named Dick Craig talks to the chief about the disappearances. You think there's anything in these monster stories? Your girlfriend does. What about you? The police don't believe in monsters. Facts are our business. Facts and only facts, and don't you forget it. Boy, pretty touchy, isn't he? We see Jaren Lawton, played by Loretta King, talks to the chief and Dick Craig about the monster. Okay, let's have the story on Lake Marsh and the monster. Eh, yeah, monster, monster. I thought so. There are no such thing as monsters. This is the 20th century. Need I remind you? Facts and only facts. We've conducted every possible search. Monsters, it's fantastic. You know that. Our business is dealing in facts, evidence. Can't you see that? Can I please just get one victory? Once! So she leaves the office to set out the fine info on the old Willow's place. Tilly, do you remember a couple of years ago in the real estate section when the old Willow place out on Lake Marsh was up for sale against back taxes? Seems to me that was around November or December of 48. Want to see the files? Yes. First you gotta do the truffle shuffle. Really? You just dissolved to the exact same thing? So clearly that was pointless. So she leaves, we cut back to the office, we see a scientist named Dr. Strowski who knows more info on the monsters. A few years ago, I was called in by the British police to investigate the appearance of a monster at Loch Ness, with the thought that it was some creature left over from a bygone age. What's this had to do with the plot? I thought perhaps with my knowledge of such things, and with your permission, of course, that I might be able to shed some light on, on this mystery. Uh, that is the reason for my presence here. Yeah, that's fine. Later that night, Janet is caught by a storm which leads to a crash, and thus Lobo saw her and took her to the house. Who are you? I'm... I'm Dr. Eric Vornov. You had a severe shock. How did I get here? Oh, that's not important for the moment. Allow me to suck your blood. So he hypnotized her to sleep. We see Craig and his partner come across Janet's car. Janet's car? Yeah. There's not a trace of her. Well, maybe after the accident, she found her way down the road and then back into town. I've got to be sure. Look, there's a coffee joint about 10 miles back. Let's go and check. Let's go. Okay. So Craig and his partner went to call headquarters. We come back to the lab. We see Dr. Borna gives Jenna a cup of tea. That is all. Get out. 
But I want to touch your boobs. I said get out. I just want to touch your boobs. Wow, that was dark. So Dr. Vornov and Giant talks more exposition. This is the old Willow's place. Yes. How did you know? I checked our real estate files. A Dr. Eric Vornov bought the Willow's place in November of 1948. Great Scott! He hypnotized her to sleep again, and we see Dr. Strauss arrives at the house and just goes in. Um, why did Dr. Vornov kept the door open? And how did Dr. Strowski know that the door is open? Where did he come up with this stuff? Eventually, Dr. Vornov spotted Dr. Strowski, which leads to the best part in the movie. I will perfect my own race of people. A race of atomic supermen which will conquer the world. <laughs> Wow, I mean, wow. That has to be one of the best dialogue ever written in this movie. And I mean it. For all the hokey acting in this movie, Lugosi managed to pull it off. And this is a good example of his performance. So for this scene, I give it an A+. Give it a hand, folks. It deserves it. Dr. Strowski pulled out a gun Lobo took into the lab to the octopus. Meanwhile, we see the Dick Tracy characters found Dr. Strowski's car as Craig decides to search for the house. Until he fell into a pit. Oh, come on! That scene doesn't even match to the stock footage. So clearly, this scene serves no purpose. We see Dr. Vornov is using his hypnotic powers on Janet to perform an experiment on her while Craig enters the house to find Janet. He discovered the secret door that leads to Dr. Vornov's lab. Now turn her loose and make it fast. You have the advantage for the moment. Stop talking and turn her loose. You have feet. Use it. Dr. Vorna put Craig in handcuffs as he continues his experiment. Lobo took out Angora and for some reason he has a change of heart. Lobo, stop! Stop! Stop my command! Wait, bullets can't hurt him? What sense does that make? If a bullet hits you, you're automatically dead. He frees Janet as Janet frees Craig. Lobo pulls Dr. Vornoff on the chair and transforms him to a monster. This leads to Craig to fight Lobo, but he fails. You're a slacker. We cut back to the hobo cops as they enter the house to look for Craig and Janet. Dr. Vornoff got up and fought off Lobo, resulting in making the place on fire and kidnapped Janet. What do you suppose that was? Well, whatever it is, get it. Oh, wait a minute, here comes Dick. He got jammed! Get him! No, don't shoot! My hit jam. Let's go! So they go after Dr. Varnov. He leaves Janet stranded to make his escape. No! Now get on up over that leg. Get up over on top of him. That's what I was gonna suggest. Don't stop the chatter. Get in action. Fire! Fire! So they shoot him off and okay, what is Dr. Varnov made of? Steel? Is his body bulletproof? I mean, he would have been dead and this movie will be over like in 5 minutes. Craig pushed the bullet to hit Dr. Varna and ends up getting killed by a fake ass octopus. My god, that is one explosive octopus. So Dr. Varna is dead, Janet is safe, and that's the end. 
So that was Bride of the Monster, and this movie is really stupid. The plot is cliché, the characters are dull, the sets are fake by today's standards, and the acting is very hokey. The only good thing I can say about this movie is Bela Lugosi's performance. As always, he did a brilliant job, especially in this scene. Not the worst movie, but the movie is definitely worth the search and is worth checking out. So that's it for this year's Halloween review. I'm MC the Movie Critic. Good night, eat lots of candy, and happy Halloween. Take care. If you would like to join our jamboree, there's a simple rule that's compulsory. Mortals pay a token fee. Rest in peace, the haunting spree. So